Let's dive into the mailbag. Let's have some fun with the mailbag. We opened it up um, last week. And, and before I get started on the mailbag, if you have any questions about anything, life, right, anything, you can email us. Our email is very simple, lengthy, but simple. The Joel, <laughs> the Joel Klatt Show mailbag at gmail.com. The Joel Klatt Show mailbag at gmail.com. And I got to tell you, my team and I had some fun and some laughs on text, just like reading through some of these questions. So please keep them coming. We'll try to answer as many as we possibly can. It's my hope, by the way, to end every episode with one of these because I think that they they can be fun. All right, so let's start. Let's get to three of them here uh, tonight before we get out of here. Uh, let's start with this one from Jeff Beaufort. He says, do you think Penn State will win a national title in the next 10, 15 years? I'm 47. So I was 11 the last time my alma mater won a title. I'd like to see one more within my lifetime. So here's the hard part, Jeff, is that I would also love to see a little bit more parity. I would love to see a, um, the national championship move a little bit more than it has. Having said that, it's going to be really difficult because of the numbers that I just broke down to you. I mean, look at where all the best players in the country are going to play college football. I just, I don't see a team being able to win a national championship unless they can average for four straight years a top five overall recruiting class. That's basically what it takes to win a national championship. Now, how the transfer portal is going to affect that, how NIL is going to affect that, heck, like how the expanded playoff is going to affect that. I'm not totally sure. Um, injuries are going to play way more of a factor in the future with a 12-team playoff. And the portal will continue to play a huge factor. Look at what happened this last year with TCU making the national championship. Not that TCU was ever going to beat Georgia. I mean, my goodness, after that game. But, you know, I think that the door was basically shut before these last couple of years. And I think it's starting to slowly open. But I maintain, I maintain, if you're going to play with and beat some of these teams like Alabama and Georgia and even Ohio State in your own conference, you better start averaging out over a four-year span about a top four, five, six class in the country in order to go out and win a national championship. So I don't know, Jeff. I don't know. That's probably not great news for you, but that's what I'm going to land on. All right, let's get to some other ones. Let's go non-football here. Let's go with just some life advice. So Tanner chimes in. He says, hey, Joel, my son is eight months old today. Congratulations, Tanner. Uh, being a father is my greatest joy. And now that we are at the end of his first football season, I feel like I am faced with a dilemma. Do I saddle him with my burden of being a Michigan and Packer fan where we are always in contention but ultimately fall short of a title? Or do I get him on board with the Chiefs and Georgia so he can grow up happy and winning titles for the next decade plus? <laughs> this is a great question. And it's like an age old debate. Like, this brings up the question, do you have to be a fan of the team in your city? Do you have to be a fan of the team that your dad loves? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I have a great answer to this. I will tell you a quick story, though, and then tell you the people I despise. Let's start with that. Here's a quick story. My dad, great man. Love my dad to death. He's a former Marine, uh, fought in Vietnam, uh, comes home, starts a family, and was a, a high school teacher and a high school football coach. Loved mentoring kids. And so, but he was like, you know, I mean, he, he was a Marine, right? He's a Marine. And he never pushed any team on me. And we didn't have, let's just take baseball, for example. We didn't have Major League Baseball in Denver when I was growing up. So it's like you kind of had to choose a team. A lot of kids were Cubs fans because of WGN or even Braves fans because of TBS. We got those games locally. Um, but in 86, like I was a young kid and, it, and the Red Sox were in the World Series. So I started rooting for the Red Sox. Well, I, I was rooting for the Red Sox then for the next couple of years. Then all of a sudden, 1992 happens and the Rockies 
come to town and they're at Mile High Stadium and the Colorado Rockies are there. And I'm sitting there rooting for the Colorado Rockies one day in the stands in Mile High. My dad took me to a game and he looks at me and he's like, he's like, so are you a Rockies fan? And I was like, well, no, I'm a Red Sox fan. And he was like, well, then why are, why are you rooting for the Rockies? And I was like, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know. And he's like, one team. You can be a fan of one team. And I'm like, I to this day, I loved that advice because I can't stand the people that are like, oh, yeah, you know, like I love the Cardinals and I love the, the Angels and I love the Padres. And it's like, whoa, 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 you get you get one team per sport. You get one team. So you got to choose wisely. I do not believe it has to be your hometown team. And I do not believe it has to be your dad's favorite team. I really don't. And Tanner, to your question, by the way, I would just suggest this. Like, you never know how the future is going to play out. You really don't. Because in 1997, you were riding high with Michigan and the Packers. And so if someone was born in 1997 or 1998, you would have been like, man, you know, I'm a Georgia fan and a Chiefs fan. All we've done is lose to John Elway and Georgia can't get over the hump. And all Georgia does is lose. Uh, man, maybe I should raise him to be, I don't know, a Michigan fan and a Packers fan because then he'll at least win Super Bowls and national championships. You see what I mean? Like I was born in 1982. The last thing you would want to do in 1982 is become a Georgia fan and a, and a Chiefs fan. Watching all those Marty Schottenheimer teams lose to John Elway and the Denver Broncos. I, I loved it because I was a Bronco fan. I loved it. But you get what I'm saying. This has to be, this has to be cyclical. Now, for your sake, Tanner, do I hope that your son becomes a fan of the teams that you root for? Yes. You know why? Because then it's a family. And that's what I love about sports is that it brings families together. So my hope is that he picks those teams for you, for him, and for your future's sake. But does he have to? No, he doesn't. But one team per sport. One. One team per sport. Last question. Let's do one more and get out of here. All right. Let's see. Patrick says, hey, Joel, great podcast. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, a question about your notebooks. Do you have both football slash work and personal notes in the same notebook? I'm sorry. Did Patrick just ask me that? I mean, what type of heathen keeps their work notes and personal notes in the same notebook? You can't double dip like that. Like, nobody takes a bite of a chip and dips it back in the salsa. Patrick. I mean, like, do I do I even have to show you? They're right here at my disposal. You know, like, you know my football. We've been over this, right? I've got all these and the spares. I've got, like, you know, I've got my blue big pin right here in my holder. But, but folks, like, you don't dare write a personal note in a work notebook. What, what are, I mean, were you born in a barn? I've got my personal notebook right here. See, I got my little personal notebook here, and those are little to-do lists. And then, and you know what? Actually, I shouldn't even say personal. That is like my work to do list. It's like my my, I don't even know what you call it. My my to do list no notebook and just like a doodle notebook. And then I've got like my personal journal here. And yes, I do I do journal. I spend time every single morning. I love to read the Bible, journal, pray, and I write them down just like that. So yeah. So these and this notebook is different than my work notebook, different size, different paper. Um, sharing notes in a notebook. What, what, uh, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.